welcome back to Reactions at Rock. I am Seth, the former rock and roll radio DJ, and now just a bewildered dude sitting here in a studio, blown away by what he's seen from this guy, Dimash. Uh, I, I don't have his last name written in front of me, but neither does the, the YouTube, so I'm not going to try to do it again. Kudabergen, I think it was, but again, uh, I just said I wasn't going to try it, and then here I am, th trying to throw his last name at you. Anyway... Regardless, this guy blew me away two weeks ago when I listened to um, his spaceship video. Uh, the name of the song eludes me right now. But if you want to see that reaction, you can check out the playlist or just kind of scroll through like two weeks worth of videos here. You can find it. He blew me away. The very, very first singer since I've been doing this to literally give me goosebumps all up and down my arms, sent chills down my spine. And if I weren't a hetero dude, I might be in love. And there's still a 50-50 chance um, that, that Dimash is now, like, somewhere in the worship zone. But we're not going to totally get into that yet, because I don't want to be a cult leader. It sounds like a lot of work. Anyway, I needed to check out more Dimash, and everybody recommended SOS. Here's the thing. Yes, I know. Some of you are going to be upset at me that I did not pick the right version or the version you want to hear. Uh, I had about 30 different versions of this song thrown at me that I needed to check out by a hundred different people, and I'm doing my best to keep everybody happy, but that's an impossible task. So I am going to check this out. Yes, I know I should have checked out the Something Something version. I didn't. Here we go. This is Dimash, SOS from the Slavic Bazaar. I am going to fire it up. Less talk, more rock, or whatever this is, just angelic beauty I'm expecting. Uh, I was told this is even better than what I've already heard. I don't know how that's possible, so I need to dive right into this. I am shutting up. I am hitting the play button, and I am. I, I'm hoping I'm not setting my expectations too high, but we'll see. Here we go. Обладатель Гран-при международного конкурса исполнителей эстрадной песни Витебск 2015 Димаш Кудайберген, Казахстан. I was thinking the same thing. Покажи вид, покажи мах. It's got such a great reverb, uh, vibrato, whatever they're calling it. Покажи мах. Васи на СОС, когда я отыдрес, Look effortless. Je te jure que vous de la vie avec le bon dessiné. J'ai comme deux zombies, tu me tiens Yes, I'm gonna rewind it so I don't miss that dark intro. Okay, seriously, or the you know the the tone down, not not a dark intro. This is the the one thing except here is I just say words that don't apply, and you gotta figure out what the hell I'm trying to say. Okay, um. Uh, two things to point out real quick. Um, one is the, he makes the range look effortless. I've seen, I, I, I'm not going to say I've seen singers this good, but I've seen singers that are good that can go from the low to the high, maybe not that low and not that high, but they kind of, they have the range. 
but there's almost always a bit of a stutter or a pause when they go from low to high, as if they're getting themselves ready right in here. As if they really, really have to get ready to tighten up the throat or pinch up the nose or whatever it is that singers do in the, inside their bodies to get there, you know, tightening the vocal cords, whatever it is. Um, I'm, I'm used to seeing it, but there's always that pause and then they hit the note. Um, th this is so ridiculously smooth. He just glides right into it. It's, um, it's, it's mesmerizing, but I've got to be honest, it's also frustrating um, because I want to be able to sing like that and I will never even come remotely close. Um, I think y'all have said in on my last video that he's got like a, a range between seven to eight octaves and I'm at like 0.7 to 0.8 and I guess this is where I'm at. And I'm sorry if my face keeps changing colors. Somehow I accidentally hit the light bar here and we've got some things going on. But seriously, just don't even bother. But just watch this. Don't even look at me. I'm going to fire it right back up. But uh, all that time and effort and energy in this break, just to tell you that he makes it look effortless. It's ridiculous. It's insanely talented. And I'm, I should be wearing like two or three hats right now, just so that if my mind does get blown again, at least the contents can stay confined. Yeah, that's gross. <laughs> I feel like I needed a bottle of water after listening to that. It made my throat dry. And yes, this is the professionalism I bring to this channel. I'm sure we've got a few more minutes of this. I don't know. I kind of want to watch it. Uh, we're just going to let it... I want to see how many flowers this dude gets. Bravo. Bravo indeed. Now I wish I had the captions. Okay, his natural voice is lower than I thought it would be. 
для молодых артистов очень многое значит, действительно. Я всей души хочу выразить вам огромную благодарность. Приезжайте в Казахстан. Спасибо большое, Рахмет. Димаш Кудаберьен, Казахстан. Спасибо. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Um, I think we need to have a serious conversation about the presence of вот это прием. either angels Баскова, друзья, or aliens on Earth because that dude is not human. There is no way that dude is human. Um, and all the comments, everybody, you, you all have done a great job filling me in on how great of a guy he is, too. And that just makes me like him even more. The fact that he's like a humanitarian and he's looking out for people and he's putting songs out during the pandemic just for you to try to tell you, hey, we're going to get through this. And the fact that he seems to be grounded and like down to earth, which may be a metaphor for being an alien or an angel or something. But seriously, uh, man crush fully activated 100% right here, which blows my mind um yeah you heard it right here i'm not a, i'm not ashamed to admit it i want to hang out with this dude i want to pick his brain i want to uh I, I just want i want to uh, like a private one-on-one -on -one concert i just i just want to just sit there and take it all in because this transcends um yes i know some of you are thinking that sounds sexual it's not get your mind out of the gutter this is like art at its highest friggin form like, if you could go to a museum and see, like, the Mona Lisa or the Statue of David... Okay, the Statue of David's a little... No, anyway, if you could go see, like, world-famous, beautiful art and not have a crowd and just stand there and take it in all by yourself, wouldn't you? Yeah, that, he should do a lottery and just give that away to, like, a family. Like, he should show up on somebody's doorstep and be like, here's your private concert, congratulations. Uh, mind blown. Anyway, um, yeah tangent this is what i do i just start talking and the mouth leads the brain and the brain tries to catch up and pull it back together we're pulling it back together um i don't know what to say like there's nothing i can say that hasn't already been said the dude is spectacular he's not of this earth uh his singing is phenomenal like i said i was surprised when he started talking that his voice was in that register because i did expect it to be a little bit higher um just based on his singing, based on his range, his voice, feel, his natural talking voice feels like it's at the low end of the range. Um, I'm going to make some movements right now with my hands in my mouth that may alarm some of you, but I want to show you something that I really, really noticed during this video. And I'm going to use the TV remote that's in my hand that controls my monitor. Um, he uses the microphone as an instrument and he has mastered it. If you don't catch that, if you didn't notice, he... A lot of the sound that comes out, he you, he creates himself in addition to just the voice. For example, and I'm not going to do what it looks like I'm going to do. But for example, when he's singing, he pulls the microphone out to kind of create that tail off. He brings it in when he needs to. He whispers into it. Uh, there's also times if you watch, he shakes the microphone just a little bit, just like this, while he's singing. And that kind of creates a little bit of that vibrato through the speakers in addition he's got a great natural vibrato too uh, i did notice at one part that they are running some type of an effect through the mic through his vocals i believe it's just a chorus pedal uh, or a chorus uh, effect in when you're playing an instrument it's a pedal not always when you're singing um and before anybody yells at me i'm not diminishing or taking away from his singing it's phenomenal i have zero problems with effects and a chorus effect is something that the human body can't naturally do uh, although i'm i would be willing to bet that he's working on it but the chorus effect literally just lets the song kind of echo throughout on lower gain lower volume after you've stopped singing it's ju it just repeats a little and that's all it does it's a very very common tool for singers all over the place and um I did pick up on that, which is fascinating to me because I don't think he's using anything else. There's clearly no auto tune here. There's clearly no pitch correct, no no additional reverb or vibrato being brought in through a soundboard. It's literally just chorus that affects the song. It doesn't change his voice. It doesn't it doesn't make anything he does easier. It literally just lets the the voice ring out. Um, 
when he ends a sentence, it just kind of... If you know, you know. If you don't, you're probably going to yell at me in the comments anyway. But seriously, I love the comments. Um, you, I found this song, I found this artist because of your comments. So thank you for telling me everything I need to know. I do try to reply to every comment, but as this channel grows, sometimes that's not possible. I do have a little bit of OCD, though. So when I see that there's comments I haven't replied to, I feel compelled at three o'clock in the morning to get in there and say something, do something. Um, because I, we're in this together. I appreciate every single one of you that has shown up to my channel. You've supported me in fantastic ways. Um, you've been great. You've given me information. You've given me encouragement. Some of you have told me I'm a blubbering idiot and you know what that feeds me to. Um, so I definitely appreciate it. Uh, so I do try to get to every comment. I know as I grow this channel, it's not always going to be possible. So if you pour out your heart and soul into a comment and you just see like a like a heart eyes emoji and a thanks for watching from me, please know I do read every comment there is. I just do not have the time in this world to um, reply to everybody in a timely manner. I'm still replying to everybody, but as we grow again, that will change. Oh my god, I just talked about comments for way too long. Sorry. So, instead of comments, let's move on to other important things like like buttons, subscribe buttons, and notification buttons. You know what to do. I don't need to pander you or to talk to you like you're dumb. Um, if you want to join me on this journey of checking out music I would have never normally listened to, go ahead, subscribe, and join me. If not, that's okay, too. Um, thank you so much. Uh, you guys have been absolutely amazing. Um, when I started this channel, I had no idea what type of subscribers I would get, what type of comments I would get. I kind of thought everybody would tell me to just shut up or call me names or something. And I've gotten very, very little of that. Um, and I still reply to that, too. Yes, I do. But seriously, thank you so much. It's been so great having you reach out to me and talk to me and share with me. I love it. I appreciate it. Uh, you mean the world to me. And there... I would probably not be doing this or at least as often as I am if there was no you. So thank you so much. I, from the bottom of my heart, I really do appreciate it. Thank you. And I'm going to be bouncing out of here and firing up another one in the next few days uh, or weeks. I don't know. I got to hear more of this guy. I can't, I can't just do like the Dimash month. Can I just like every night, just a different song. I don't know. Some of my other subscribers might bounce, but you might stick around. I don't know. I'm not going to do that. I have to hit other stuff. I got to keep the ball rolling in a million different directions. But trust me, I will be back for more Dimash. This guy blows my mind and I cannot wait to hear more. Thank you so much for hanging out. And until we see each other again, happy trails. That's what they used to say in like the, the old Western TV shows. I don't even know what it means. I think it just means like don't die on the road. So until we see each other again, don't die on the road.